Thank you for joining us for the Barbados Today Evening News for Thursday, August 3rd. I am Mary Claire Williams. As Barbadians gear up for the climax of crop over festivities this weekend, former Attorney General Dale Marshall tells the public do not cower to threats from criminal elements in society. Marshall was referring to a recent video circulating on social media threatening the Royal Barbados Police Force. It was addressed to government, citizens and the police. Barbados Today's Ryan Jilks has more. Since last Wednesday, there's been much speculation about safety and security at public events after a video surfaced on social media issuing threats against the Royal Barbados Police Force. This was 24 hours after residents of Deacon's Farm St. Michael were confronted in the dead of night with the sound of gunfire. Marshall said the Barbados Labour Party was aware of the disturbing video as well as statements suggesting outbreaks of violence during the climax of the festivities this weekend. And, whether genuine or not, he urged for them to be taken seriously, given the unnecessary levels of discomfort the situation was causing. He said if it was a hoax, it demonstrated the level of depravity some people were willing to sink to, because in an already tense environment where the daily reports of gun-related violence had citizens feeling as if they were under siege, such threats only contributed further to making Barbadians anxious and fearful. If the threats too were serious, it then underscored the dangerous state which Barbados had reached, stressing that increased violent crime benefited no one, and he described it as a scourge that had to be eliminated for the safety and peace of mind of all Barbadians, regardless of their partisan perspective. Ryan Jolts for Barbados Today. Meanwhile, Roman Catholic vicar for family and youth, Father Clement Paul, is calling on the public to maintain law and order during the upcoming weekend. In a statement issued today, Father Paul hailed the success of Sunday's Soka Royale, noting it was a particularly peaceful one. He also pleaded with members of the public to steer clear of any violence. Father Paul called on revelers to make the activities this weekend a family affair. In other news this evening, the head of the policyholders advocacy group is warning local authorities that they should not allow a repeat of the Clico fiasco. The warning from the chairperson of the Barbados Investors and Policyholders Alliance, June Fowler, comes as the eight-year fight for more than 20,000 Clico policyholders draws to an end. Fowler's warning follows this week's approval by the High Court for the transfer of assets and insurance policies from Clico International Life Insurance Company to New Life Investment Company, Inc. and Resolution Life Insurance Limited. The ruling cleared the way for payments to be made to the policyholders who were left out of pocket after Clico's parent company, CL Financial, collapsed in 2009. Fowler says she welcomes the latest development, but it should not happen again. It is good news. It is not the end of the process yet, but it is a, it is part of the process that we were looking forward to happen since we were at this process since 2014. Mm -hmm. We are grateful that it has come to this point and that we are at uh, a stage where um, the transfer agreement has been approved by the court. The supervisor of insurance should have done what they were supposed to do and this, this thing would not have happened. Mm -hmm. So I would like to think that with the financial services commission in place that what happened in the past uh, with Clico will not happen with this new entity resolution life. The Barbados Road Safety Association is stepping up its calls for better service at the licensing authority. The association staged a protest outside of the authority's offices in the Pine St. Michael this morning demanding reform of the driver licensing system. President Charmaine Roland Bowen says the government entity needs to improve deficiencies. As I see it, it is uh, an injustice that is being done to all, all, all taxpayers, all world users, and we need to take a firm stand and let um, our message be strong that we no longer are going to be tolerating um, this type of treatment, that um, we have rights and we are going to exercise and use those rights. And whoever, whatever administration is willing, you know, to work with us, you know, to um, for the improvement and safety of of all world users, you know, we are willing to work with them, sit down and let us put our heads together and bring a closure to this, whereas we are moving forward, we want to move forward um, positively and, as I said, we want fairness and integrity and dignity. We want to um, have our dignity remain with us. 
Sports now, the three-day first-class match between West Indies and English County Essex ended in a draw earlier today. Kimar Roach's five-wicket haul and Roston Chase's second-half century highlighted West Indies' performance. Coach Stuart Law gave his assessment of the match. Well, we, we came here with a target to batsmen to spend some time in the middle. Um, our, our top six, six have done that. Roston Chase has had you know, quite a bit of time out there, which is great for us. Um, but I think everyone's got a bit of time and understood that you know what, what English wickets and conditions can provide. Um, and the other boys who, have, who didn't score the runs they wanted to, they've had plenty of hits in the in the net. So we've come here and accomplished what we what we wanted to. Uh, our bowlers had a pretty good hit out as well, which is good. There's regional and international news after this short break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event on Saturday, August 5th at 8 p.m. The Courtesy Garage Limited Mount Gay Pick of the Crop Finals will heat up as reigning monarch Aziza battles Colin Spencer, Danella, Adrian Clark, Crystal, Classic, Edwin, iWeb, Smokey Burke, Observer, and Sir Rule at the Kensington Oval 3W's Amphitheater. Early bird ground tickets, $45. Early bird 3W stand tickets, $60. Regular tickets are $55 for the ground and $75 for the 3W stand. Find out who will be the 2017 Calypso Monarch at the Courtesy Garage Limited Mount Gay Pick of the Crop Finals in the Kensington Oval 3W's Amphitheater on August 5th at 8 p.m. Thank you for staying with us. We're back now with news from the region. And Trinidadian Soka star Destra Garcia has broken her ankle after falling from a stage during her performance at a concert in Bermuda. An eyewitness says Destra slipped between the stage and the speaker during the Summer Splash concert ahead of the island's National Cup match holiday. The witness told the Royal Gazette newspaper that Destra was taken away on a stretcher. On the international scene, the Donald Trump administration is moving to implement a tougher vetting process for visa applicants. A public notice says the government is looking to make permanent a new questionnaire that asks some U.S. visa applicants to provide their social media handles and detailed biographical and travel history. The questionnaire was rolled out in May as part of an effort to tighten the vetting of potential visitors to the U.S. It asks for all prior passport numbers, five years' worth of social media handles, email addresses, and phone numbers. Applicants will also be required to provide 15 years of biographical information, including addresses, employment, and travel history. A State Department official declined to provide data on how many times the form has been used or which nationalities had been asked to fill it out since May. He only said that an estimated 65,000 visa applicants per year will present a threat profile that warrants the extra screening. And that's news this evening. Remember, there's more on our website, www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can find us on Izumi Media in bus terminals and screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. We're also on Mix 96.9 FM. I am Marie Claire Williams. Have a good evening.